Well, the FDA has approved the first medications made from healthy bacteria found in human waste to treat a serious recurrent gut infection, but they're only approved for a specific patient population. And so what that means is something called fecal transplantation is still necessary for some patients. In our HealthCast today, we're going to take a look at the benefits of this age-old procedure. It actually is tomato up there. If you want, we can take a sample of that too. Sure. Although Maximus Orizzoli was born autistic, he was growing up highly functional and healthy until about the age of eight. He started to have uh, chronic pain, abdominal pain, diarrhea. For a while, it did ruin my quality of life. I remember getting a bike for my birthday, but I couldn't even ride it. Maximus was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, and while medication at first really did help him, he eventually developed recurrent C. diff infections. And they would give him antibiotics for it, and then it just became a vicious cycle where he was just on antibiotics constantly, and, um, and the antibiotic would destroy then his whole intestinal system again. Dr. Luis Casado, a pediatric gastroenterologist with Nicholas Children's Hospital, says recurrent C. diff creates a toxin that leads to potentially deadly problems in the intestine. That's where something called fecal transplantation comes in. The, the essence uh, here is that your flora is not having an equilibrium anymore. So what you're basically doing is you're transferring a healthy microbiome from a healthy person to somebody that, that has no equilibrium anymore. But even after decades of use in the U.S., the procedure is still considered experimental. So you have to state that every time that you're going to do a procedure like this, you get a consent and you have to state to the families that this is a, like an investigational approach. Maximus qualified for the transplant, and now, years after the procedure, he remains infection-free, and there were other benefits. You know, we've seen the C. diff completely gone, but the Crohn's, we've seen a lot of improvement with the Crohn's as well. With the Crohn's in remission, I'm able to absorb more nutrients through my food because of the repaired intestine tract, and I'm just full of energy now. Which is terrific. Well, under research, fecal transplants have also been done for things like autism, obesity, liver problems, neurology, and even arthritis, as well as other severe recurrent infections.